divine soul what it do hello mm-hmm. well somebody text me I never get text messages anymore my shit be dry <laughs> this is a hard fucking desert as a matter of fact I was writing about that see I done started um getting up in the beginning writing down whatever the fuck I feel no matter if it's low vibrations confusions talking shit uh, gratitude just writing it down as a way to transmute feelings and it helps me create space for new feelings and it helps me it helps me heal those yeah so um I know for a fact God wants me to use my communication even more. God wants me to show the world who I am. And uh, I was trying. Like, I love expressing myself and my individuality and who I am. But uh, on a platform or to the world, um, I'm learning how to get more comfortable with it. So let's just say that. So sometimes I be feeling like I don't know what the fuck to talk about. But in T.O. way, uh, I pulled a card this morning. So that was going to be what we talk about on the walk. And the card was hope. Hi. And the card was hope, right? So, what I feel from that hope card is that a lot of us may be in a space where our surroundings don't match what we've been hoping for or what we see for ourselves. And that's a test. That's a test. Like, for one, because... um, what was the reading yesterday? The message was about all our heart's desires in the atmosphere. And I've been feeling that energy heavily. heavily. So I feel like we in a space of where it don't look like that to see if we're able. Like, like our commitment is being tested. That's another card that came out. Our commitment to our heart's desires. Our commitment to the faithfulness of having hope is being tested and for us to tap into and exercise our creative abilities hey little squirrel he's he milling he milling wait a minute i don't know what he eating hi good yeah, he milling. I don't know what he eating, though. Look like somebody done dropped off some peanuts. And he ain't and he ain't studding nothing. He's smashing. Okay. So, it's, it's like we in that space of our commitment being tested to what we see for ourselves. Because God wants us to expand our creativity our creative abilities and and, and and we hold those abilities with our hope and how do we exercise hope with our imagination you feel me with our faithfulness to know that we deserve everything we see for ourselves and we grateful for everything we experiencing right now you heard so no matter what it look like around you always know that you worthy I always know that it's your birthright to live the life that, that you hope for. The, the, to live the life that you always dreamed and imagined. And, and, and the truth about it is we living it now. It's a process on building those. It's a process on building those manifestations. Like It might feel like we're in the trenches. But... 
the trenches can be pretty too. It's just all about how we look at it. You feel me? So, oh, stay faithful to the desires of your heart. And that's the message for the day. And I want you to have a peaceful, loving day. Oh, I want to share my intentions. My intentions for today is to stay detached. Stay detached from outcomes. Don't have no expectations. Stay detached from judgment. And my intentions are to feel what other people feel so that I can be more compassionate towards them and understanding. But my intention is not to, to um, embody them or to hold on to them, but to feel them and let them pass through me and let it go. You feel me? And I got some cleaning and stuff to do. And I intend on finishing that up and uh, do some studying today. And my intentions is also to practice mindfulness and uh, mm, show gratitude. Show gratitude. Hello. Hello. Uh, show gratitude for it all. And just fucking be. Yeah. And that's about it. So, sending you loving, peaceful vibes. Have an amazing day. Put yourself first. Know that you are worthy. Know that you are loved. Know that you deserve all those fantastical is that a word? Um, it probably is. You deserve it. You deserve it. And no matter what it looks like around you, keep your motherfucking eye on the prize. You heard me? Ooh, I sound like I was from New Orleans. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye.